So the first thing in the morning, we try to do some reading or try to teach reading to the kids. And I have a Joshua here. Say hello, Joshi. Hello. Say good morning. Good morning. So they know the phonics. Now I'm trying to put uh, letter combinations to him. So oftentimes what I'll do, I use these uh, magnet, magnetic uh, letters on the uh, backboard and we'll give you the description if you'd like to look in, uh, get more information on this. But Joshi, what is this letter here? Very good. What's this letter? Good. At. Ah. So I bring them closer together. And what is this? At. Good. So he has at down really well. Now I try to use combinations with that. What is this, Joshi? Ba. Good. And what is this? At. Yeah. Bat. And I bring it closer together. Bat. Bat. Good. Very good. How about this one, Joshi? Yeah, and what is this? Uh, Bring it closer together. Hat. Hat. And what is this? Hat. It's a hat. So I try to tie in uh, the words to, to make them have a personality to them. And then when we read out loud to them, we try to read out loud to them at least a couple times a day. We try to emphasize these words and show them the words in context uh, with the book. How about this one? Sad. Very good. Mama swimming. <laughs> mama's uh, Mama's actually working out, and uh, then uh, then well, what we'll do is I'll, I'll get Caleb up, and then we'll do yeah. circle time uh, after we do reading with them. Here we have Caleb. Say good morning, Caleb. Ah. Say good morning. Good morning. And what's this, Caleb? Ah. Good. What's that? Mmm. Mm. This? Mm. Okay, put the two together. What's this? Mmm. Am. Mm. Am. Mm. So what is this? Ah. Uh, am. Mm-hmm. Am. Am. Very good. So what's this? And what's this? Am. Good. What's this? M. M. Mm -hmm. What's this? At. It's not at. at. What is this? S. No. no. What's this? M. Yeah. S. What's this? S. As you see, Caleb is a little behind Joshua and he's still not grasping the blending as good as Joshua is. It has been a trend that I have noticed ever since I gave birth to them. Caleb is usually one month or two months behind Joshua. So if Joshua is crawling this month in November, then in January or February or maybe December, Caleb will crawl. And if Joshua is talking in January, we know that by March or April or so, then Caleb will be talking. He's been a month or two months behind Joshua. It has been happening since birth and I'm not worried about it. I know that I'm going to come back and I'll show you like in the next month or two months he'll be doing what Joshua is doing right now so I'm not worried about it it's a trend that has been going on with twins and by the way if you are new I have these twins they are both identical born uh, 10 minutes apart and they are four years old and I'm getting ready I'm getting them ready for kindergarten next year by trying to teach them to read write and by the way this this magnetic thing I'll link it down I love it it teaches them to write and also it has lower case letters for people that are interested so it has all the letters that's one thing that i love about it and it also has a place where you can write and wipe like i love 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 it and it is working well for the kids and after we read and my husband does it and by the way i hope you notice that my husband is way patient compared to me and he's doing an amazing job homeschooling the boys and i'm loving it oh well i'm so happy you decided to come
now is the time for circle time we do it freely with miss monica i'll link her down i mean if we just say miss monica circle time you'll find her and she does a good job and you guys know how much i love these books that the kids use like these ones are wipe and clean i'm someone that I know how eraser can make a mess and with the kids that are four years old you need something that will work very well for them so I use these books I mean you'll see in this video right now they're just singing circle time it's activities like if you have never checked Miss Monica please do because she is doing an amazing job and my kids have thrived with her lessons and thanks to everyone that recommended her so now we're doing circle time with the kids we use the YouTube channel of um, Monica Sutton and we have books here t for the uh, the letter writing as well as the shapes typically there's a, uh, a letter of the day a number of the day as well as a shape of the day and we go through the uh, the weather for today as well as a couple of other activities and the boys love it and they do this about five days a week are you guys ready for circle time all right, let's go. Do your E's. So today's letter is the letter E. And they're working on their penmanship. Good job. Down, across, across. We'll link the workbooks down below if you want more information on them. Okay, work on this one, Caleb. No, I want of course, but to go across, go down. Good job. Go down. Cross. Okay, stop. Went too far. Now go across here. Sit nicely. No, go down. <laughs> let's just appreciate my husband's patience like he is so patient with them as i'm making a voiceover for this video i'm like wow maybe he should take over teaching them all together he's doing a good job and by the way as you see this is a wipe and clean like it is so good these books i really recommend them i mean they are for the cheap people that don't want to be spending more money on stuff and especially teaching kids you don't want to be erasing sometimes an eraser can tear off the book so we just like erase i mean you'll see i love them and i'll link them down and then there's also another pen con control one way to teach a child how to pen control i mean you'll see everything in this video and i'll link everything down for you guys because this really i love them so much you guys know okay hey, work on it right here right here yeah now. <laughs> yeah, you spread them out. But make it look like up here. You got three across. Not five across. That's a strange E. <laughs> Let's erase that. Good. Go down. Cross. Cross. One more. Not bad. How many times do we go across? How many times? One, two, three. So here's one, two, three. Okay, you do it now. Draw another E there. Down. Cross. Very good. Cross. One more. Put it down here. Very good. Well done. Your turn, Joshi. Down. Cross. Not down, just across. When we teach them, we keep on saying you go down, across, across. And <laughs> now Joshua is having a hard time, but I guess he doesn't have a lot of um, acrosses. And Caleb has been doing better than Joshua when it comes to writing. When it comes to writing, hands down, Caleb has been doing an amazing job. It is just when it comes to um, reading. One, two, three. Three. Go ahead and trace that up there. What number is this? 
17. Good job, Caleb. Good job, Joshi. Go to the next one. Oh, no. No, no, don't touch that. As you see, the ink for Caleb's pen is running down. And what we did, we bought two books. One book had another another pen. So we started giving him the new one. So I love them that they, they all come in with with pens so you can be able to replace and give the other child. So the other ones we did not open until the ink was done in the other book. Just another hack to save you money. Or if we have extra money, you can buy more pens, but I don't think it's that worth it. If you buy two books, it will be enough to just take over. We are on week, I think, seven or eight, which has been two months, and we've been using them consistently, and this is the first time we changed the pens. After they are done with that school stuff, it's now time for activity activity like exercise activity so we've been doing this song you can just google it it's jump 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 and then they lie down michael also like as you see my husband does with them because mommy cannot jump if you are new mommy does not have the legs to jump but daddy does with them it's two minutes hardcore cardio like they're gonna be so tired i mean i'll link the song down or oh, you just say if we just google jump 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 and you lay down and how do, okay how does the song go okay touch your head and turn around okay T touch your head and turn around take a deep breath and sigh a lot <sighs> Touch your head and turn around. Jump, 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 jump. That's what they're doing. So they're gonna jump. The song is like two Good minutes. I love it. Morning, Good, Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, but you're not Caleb. How can you not back? Oh, you back? Oh, you did it. Good job, Caleb. Can I show off? Good job, boys. Good job. I thought he said, Mommy, I did not buckle up. So he's telling me, Mommy, I buckled up. Good job. Um, so good morning, everyone. How are you doing? I'm very excited. I'm going to be sharing with you my homeschool morning routine. I didn't show us when we're getting ready for the day and eating breakfast. That is because it was a very busy day today. We are actually on our way to the library this morning. We're going to the library for some education stuff for the kids. Um, our library here has some, what do you call it? Um, it's like it's not co-op per se, but they have a lot of classes for the kids, and this is a uh, pre-K storytelling. Yeah, where they uh, they yeah, yeah, hear yeah. Uh, yeah. stories read, mm -hmm. there's dancing, a little bit of exercising, Mama. and then art and craft, yeah. and then in art and craft. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that's um what what's gonna be going on, and um yeah what. So that's why we're gonna be. I'm gonna be going showing you around, and not around like what we do for homeschooling and stuff. As as parents that are getting ready for kindergarten next year, Lord willing, because we want our kids to be really ready for kindergarten and all that stuff for kindergarten. So join me. There is the train. There is the train. We are here at the library and of course just you're opening the door for me. Hello. Hello. What are you doing there? Are you doing there? <laughs> Mikey, it's time to go guys. Mikey wants to go. Should we go? Okay, let's go guys. Let's go home. Did you have a good time? Where's the windows? No, I'm not going to my time. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's go boys. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. To start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the knife. And I can feel the sun. So we just did some crafts at the just got back from the library and now we're going home. I'm go I, I want to get home, I'm going to show you the crafts that we did that I felt like it was so cool. I'm actually going to look for more things like that because my kids were, were wobbly on it, it but it was fun. So now we're going home. Well, um, the, we are in the 
library with the twins because it's, it's four years and ha I mean three to four, right? It's three to four. Michael was with daddy reading stories. How did Michael take stories? Well, he's smiling. He's smiling? Yeah. yeah. I buckle up. Mama, I buckle up. You buckled up. Good job, baby. Oh, Michael is not buckled up. Oh, he's telling us. <laughs> Good job, Mikey. We are just about to leave and Michael said I'm not buckled up. Yeah. That's good. And my husband got more books. Let me show you. Oh my goodness, guys. This is amazing. And teaching your own kids, even in the midst of um, opposition, is very, very... I feel like the mother knows best. Like, one of the things that people don't understand is that a mother, I mean, a typical mother usually loves her kids and he, she knows kids more than anyone. And um so it's such an amazing thing to teach your kids even if your kids go to school to make sure that you also take over that's gonna be our goal even if let's say we change our minds in the future and decide them to take them to a secular school what is it called to any school which if we do is gonna be private school right honey lord willing if we ever take them to school it's gonna be private school but even if we do that we're still gonna make sure that we still homeschool them it's very very important because people think that teachers only can teach their kids and i'm so happy oh my goodness yesterday i posted i shared a post on on face on facebook about a mom that is from Botswana too she lives in the uk hi i know she watches me hi Butalano. so she quit her nursing job to stay with her child so she can homeschool i was like i mean i don't know if she's homeschooling 100 percent but she's quit so that she can leave the kid and okay, you're gonna go to nana yes well we'll fly later okay not today so anyway she just started to stay with her kid and i was like so happy for her and yeah that's what i'm saying like it's very rewarding it's one of the most rewarding thing like i was telling my husband that if i was ever going to die or something like that i'll never die saying that i wish i had the moments with my kids because i feel like god has given me that time to spend with them this especially today i feel like it's a lot rewarding to spend time with them i'm so happy it is the best feeling ever like no one will change my mind like no one like Mommy. i love it huh tell mikey what did he say huh Poop in the toilet, Mikey. Do you hear that? You poop, guys. He did not poop. I think he just farted. Just your pray. Yeah, we say pray. It's lunch time. My husband just took the boys out to swimming while i'm waiting for you guys i want to tell you a very embarrassing story so today when you came back from the library no when you went to the library i had my purse in my in my my lap because we were running a little late so i'm pushing myself i didn't know that my bag was opened so i had my sanitary pads my my pad because i want my period my sanitary pad just out from the car all the way to the library to the story time and i didn't even look at the person because it's on my lap so if you are a wheelchair user you are sitting down and then you keep on pushing yourself while something is on your lap because i didn't give it to the twins also i didn't hook it to the handle of my wheelchair and then after a few minutes or a few seconds there after the kids have settled down to sit down because we are like the, the story time has already started so i'm putting the kids have started to sit down in their place to sit down so now i'm relaxed my mind is relaxing and i look is the pad out i was actually very <laughs> i don't want to very embarrassed but i was shocked that no one stopped me to tell me close your purse I hope they did not see it because a lot of people don't look at your purse but if someone saw it and they didn't tell me I actually don't feel right because I will never leave another woman 
just walking down like that if i see something on a woman i'm just gonna stop her and say excuse me ma'am i don't know if you see that i don't think you, you intended to show it off and all that so that was very embarrassing and i was like oh no but i was like who cares the kids don't understand what it is um so that was funny i felt like that was funny and very embarrassing so yeah i just wanted to tell you that story so right now i'm waiting for my husband to come back. now we have to do the reading we have to do the stuff and yeah